Leaders of the Trade Union Congress on Grands Bahama warning the government not to accept the recommendations offered by the International Monetary Fund. Last month, the IMF recommended that the government cut the civil service wage bill by millions of dollars. But that is not sitting well with some in the labor movement. Acting President of the Bahamas Customs and Immigration Allied Workers Union, Rudolph Stubbs, addressing a recent recommendation by the International Monetary Fund to the government of the Bahamas, suggesting that the government could save millions of dollars by cutting the salaries of public service workers and downsizing. Stubbs says that the government should meet with trade union leaders to discuss the severity of such a decision. We have come to the realization that it ought to be assessed properly. That is, the government would need to look into those various departments that may appear to be bloated or that are bloated. Vice President Duran Brooks also in agreement. He notes that the government is mandated to provide economic opportunities for Bahamians and also hire Bahamians to the public sector when the need arises. He says while the government has not made an official decision as yet, he is advising that they do so with caution. The Bahamas government hired these civil servants. They did not hire themselves. So now the Bahamas government has found itself in a bit of um, a difficulty. But what we're saying is Proceed with caution in whatever it is you plan to do. Fourth vice of the NTCUB, Quentin LaRota, echoing the sentiments of his union colleagues. He says the government must consider the domino effect this decision could have. At the onset, from the first advice, we want to say, no, let's be cautious here. Let's look at this. We have an economy um, that is teetering somewhat that needs improvement. And if your response is to downsize uh, in a dramatic way, the public sector, you're gonna bring the economy to a screeching halt. Because those people who would have been employed would no longer be employed and that would negatively impact everybody else who depend on them um, for economic viability. The union leaders say they will not remain silent and will continue to speak up for those in the public sector. Now, the Minister of Finance and Deputy Prime Minister, the Honorable K. Peter Turnquist, says that the government notes the observations of the IMF, which, as a multilateral international organization, bears the experience and technical expertise to inform decisions. And ultimately, any decision on human resources or fiscal policy will be made by the government based on national input and national consideration. Minister Turnquist says that while the government appreciates the comments and concerns of the noted union leaders respectfully, it appears that they are premature as it regards to any action by the government in the future. He says all major labor organizations will have full and open consultation and input at a standard protocol under this administration.